Hi everybody, I recently decided to um, upgrade my, my 3D printer a little bit. Um, I was having quite a bit of problems with the, um, with the stability and the, and the reliability of it. I, the magnetic joints I initially put onto it um, didn't quite work as well. I'm keeping the magnetic joints, but I have made a couple of tweaks to basically remove a couple of um, points of failure. Um, I'll take you through the process of what I did um, in the following bit. Um, and yeah, have a look. Okay, you can see that the cone ball is held into, onto the truck by a magnet, which in turn holds onto the bolt, which also supports the bearing. The magnet is, in, is encased in some heat shrink in an attempt to stabilize it. When this started to loosen up, I cable tied the heat heat shrink to the thread and also glued the ball with some hot glue. Um, this was obviously before I figured out that it was actually the magnet in the diagonal rod and the magnet, re um, this, this magnet, repelling each other um, in certain angles which caused the joint to loosen randomly. In, short, in, in this shot, I have simply removed the ball the magnet and also the heat shrink and cable tie holding it all together. Here I have removed the nut holding the bearing in place so you can see the um, the washer um, that presses up against the bearing. Now I have removed the entire bearing assembly um, from the truck. Now this is a shot of the bearing assembly. I've showed how I made this up step by step in a blog post which I will link in below. Here is the bolt with the front washer and the bearing removed. This is um, as far as I disassembled everything before starting to drill. Here is the same nut clamped and lined up ready to have the pilot hole drilled out. I used my Dremel for the pilot hole, but I did end up using a stronger drill for the full 2.5mm uh, millimeter tap hole before the Dremel was, because the Dremel was really not not um, up for the job. Because um, some good speed, but not a lot of torque out of a Dremel. This image shows the 2.5mm hole fully drilled, about 10 millimeters deep and ready for, for the tap. Now here I tapped the hole with a standard 3 millimeter 0, 0.5 millimeter pitch tap to about 5 millimeters um, depth. So that's about 5 millimeters with a thread actually cut into into the, the bolt. Um, what I mean by that is that I could actually screw a, a, a screw, a threaded screw into that hole five millimeters so the thread itself was probably a little deeper. Here is the, the finished bolt with a three millimeter inner hole tapped and ready to be fitted back onto the, the printer. Testing the tap with a three millimeter bolt that would later be cut to 10 millimeter length so that one end can be screwed into the ball and the other end screwed into the bolt which will, will once again hold the bearing in place as well as the, the ball. Here is the assembly fitted back on the truck. I'm quite chuffed that I did not um, need to disassemble my entire printer to do this, which is what I thought, which is what I initially thought I would have to do. Here is the entire assembly with all the joints fixed, showing just one of the trucks in, in the image. Um, the yellow stuff visible where the inner bolt um, tightens onto the outer bolt is actually nail polish which doubles quite nicely as, as Loctite. Apparently um, the same compounds that is found in Loctite um, is actually also in nail polish. This was my first successful print after the upgrade. The printer is now um, definitely more reliable with fewer points of failure. The outer rim that you can see um, printed here around the part which is currently being printed was the first print I tried after the upgrade which actually did fail. Um, the failure however was due to incorrect settings after an upgrade of Pronterface. Face. 
The thing I'm printing here is actually the 90 degree bracket which I designed and made available on Thingiverse. This bracket was designed and modded in a set of videos showing, or oh, sorry, modeled in a set of videos um, showing how to how to do it step by step, both in OpenSCAD as well as SketchUp. The idea being to show that real 3D modeling is actually possible in SketchUp as well. I'll link the video playlist in below as well. I'm still planning to add more videos to that series because the original idea was to show that SketchUp is better for system level design while OpenSCAD is actually better for component level design.
here is the final product with the support still in place. And here you can see that my printer can still do with some improvements. The bearing assembly can be tightened up a bit. I find that one of the trucks are still a bit loose in the process of making the bearings um, thread. Uh, sorry, in the process of taking the bearings out to thread them and then putting them back in, I did notice that I could tighten things up considerably by just moving the bearings a little bit um, in, in, in their seating seated position. Okay, so you've now seen all the changes I've made and my printer is quite a bit better. Um, obviously, a bit of improvements left to do. Um, let me know if you like this video. Um, comments, thoughts, you know, I know a lot of people have much better ideas. Um, interestingly, I also the, the um, balls I am using were full chrome balls and obviously it's quite a, quite a mission to drill into them. But I found a, um, a thing on the net saying that you could, you could do that by um, cooking them a little bit. So effectively, I dropped them into my barbecue, um, left them there for, for the night to cool down slowly on their own. Um, that softened the chrome up nicely, um, and I could drill and tap the thing. Um, you don't need really hard um, chrome balls for this purpose, but I do see you can buy them now for about one US, one, $1.32 um, on eBay. Um, so they're quite cheap. Um, obviously shipping things to South Africa would, would be far more expensive than that. But so I'm quite happy with the way the um, chrome balls softened and I was able to, to drill into them. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, comments, welcome. I always read the comments. Let me know what you guys think.